I've just had the press conference announce your next uh, fight, uh, and it's a world title fight, but first of all, it was quite emotional up there, Anthony. Yeah, it was. Um, I, I never expected to get an emotional fight. I sort of had to hold it back a little bit. I was joking a little bit, but I think what it was is it just sort of hit home. Getting this sort of world title fight delivered to us, and people are talking about what a night it's going to be at the arena, and it, it, it did make me think, wow, it is going to be some night, and I'm just, like you say, I'm really thankful for um, the opportunity that's been delivered to me now and I'm just going to make sure I'm in the best place physically and mentally on that night with a great crowd behind me to bring that world title home. And after the incident um, back in December, did you ever think uh, you'd be back in the ring? Uh, what was going through your yeah, mind I in the hospital there, bed? There was, there, was, there was moments where I did worry and I did doubt things but um, I think you're very positive thinking. It plays a big part in that and I never believed that. I'd, I'd, I never sort of doubted that I'd get this chance but the big thing for me was getting medical clearance to fight, which is obviously a big worry. And um, now about that, I'm just, it's sort of, I can just sort of focus totally on um, becoming a world champion on July the 18th. Yeah, definitely. And what's it been like uh, back in the gym as soon as you could start training? Was it like starting from square yeah, I've, one again? I've been back in the gym a while, but in a strange way, I think the break might have done me good. I've not had a break since the age of 11 years old mm. when I started boxing. So to be out the gym for a few weeks, but I've been in the gym a while now and I've been. From, from the rehab when I was on crutches I was, I was doing my stretches I was doing exercise what I could do on crutches probably stuff I shouldn't have really been doing but it's um, I was constantly battling to get back fit and like I say I believe on July 18th I'll be back bigger no, faster you know fitter and stronger than I've ever been and how much do you know about Perez have you been watching he's a very good fighter and... yeah I've watched I've watched quite a few fights of his and um, he's someone that um, I've got a very lot of respect for he's, he's a great fighter and you very rarely get an easy world title fight, but mm. to get a world title fight, so it's very easy. To get a, <laughs> it's very rare you get an easy world title mm. fight, but to get um, to get it in my own own city, so a great crowd gives me a great chance. But I think once we get in there, there's the old saying that it's only two years. But I do believe the crowd will help me, you know, lift me up a little bit. But he's um, he's got great pedigree, so I can't. He won't be intimidated too much. He's uh, been to the Olympics, he's, um, he's travelled in people's back again before and he's someone that I really do respect as a fighter, really do. And of course it's ten years on since uh, yeah. Ricky Hatton, you were there that night. Uh, what was it like uh, that night uh, when Ricky Hatton you know won? I've been at many, at many Ricky's big nights and um, you always had that dream of fighting for the world title. Mm. And um, from being a young kid, and I've got this, when I think back now, the, the goosebumps I got back then, I'm hoping the same night people are going to have them mm. for me. And it's, uh, it's, it's a bit of a special feeling, that. No, definitely. And uh, this past uh, weekend, you ran the uh, Great Manchester yeah. run. What, what was that like, and what, what yeah. time did you do? No, it was so they won, they won no uh, record time. <laughs> it was it was only like the fifth time I've run since the incident, but I ran it so 42 and a half minutes. But I'll, um, it was great to, that was the first time I've run any kind of that distance, and it just ticked another box to that I'm good to run again. No, but the support, like I say, the city come out that day, mm. and I'm hopeful, like I say, some of the people there who says, oh, we're going to look out for your news, and um, mm. we want to, obviously I couldn't say too much, <laughs> but um, it's going to be great news, um, it, we're going to be coming to watch your fight, so if you just some of them come, it'll um, be a good crowd in there. No, definitely, and I mean, social media has had um, its down points, but what oh, is yeah. it like when you oh, get the support that you did, and Kel Brook had a similar yeah, incident, course, didn't he? and I think Kel will say the same thing. The support I've had sort of from up and down the country, from people in the world of boxing, the world of sport, and just people who sort of from everyone from the top sort of top boxers who have grew up as a little kid watching, right down to amateur boxers up and down the country means the absolute world to us. And um, that played a big part in getting me to where I am today, covering. No, definitely. Oh, well, best of luck on Thank July you. 18th, and uh, hopefully nice you've got a world well, part around your waist. You take care.